Wix Classic versus Wix Editor X, which is a better website builder. Hi guys, today I am showing you around Wix Editor X and Wix Classic and we'll figure out that which one of these is better for you to use now as a website builder. Now both of these platforms are powered by Wix of course. Now Wix Classic is a website builder that was originally created by Wix when the Wix was created and then there came an update which is Editor X that allows you to create these amazing websites on Wix as well. So both of these actually serve the same purpose to give you a website that actually stands out and we're gonna figure out that which one is better to create a website and which will help us create an amazing website of our dreams. So let's get started. Now we have Wix Classic first. You can see right here that I will actually be creating a website on both of these and we will just compare both of these on the way and see how these platforms actually differ. So you can see right here that there are themes available on both of these. I am right now on the step to choose from different templates that are available. If I go to see all the templates on Editor X, then I will be able to check out their templates right here. So you you can see that they have these amazing templates for me to choose from. Another thing that I wanted to mention, the version I am using is completely free version and you will be able to see that how these platforms actually allow you to play with all of these amazing features for free. So you can see on Wix Editor X, these are different templates that look very nice and by the look of it, I can just tell that these templates are very professional and very good looking. I would say the website, you know, these templates are very, you know, professional and I can actually play with them a lot and I will be able to create an amazing website. When it comes to classic editor, now you will see I have these themes that I have to choose from first and these are just these six themes that I need to choose from. So let's just go with this theme and I will continue. So once I do that now you will be able to see that they are asking me to pick my favorite homepage design. There are different designs that are available. It's just taking a moment to load. So you can see that now they have asked me to choose a design from these three designs. So let's just choose this one. So now I have to add pages to my website. Now this is where I will actually see kind of like templates or whatever because there are not that much templates available here on Wix Classic. But when we go on Editor X, it, it's very professional and it's very upgraded. So what's going to happen is I will just simply choose a template from. If I want to start from the scratch, I can. But I went with the templates because I was like, okay, you know what? Just just create a website with the template. Um, so let me just select any of these these are actually amazing i'm having a very hard time choosing from these templates so yeah guys i'm gonna go with this one so i will simply click on edit and now my template will be ready to go with so uh, when my template is you know being ready for me i'm just gonna go to jump to wix classic and let's move on with this one now uh, you might think that what am i doing because i'm you know jumping from website to another i just want you to see that how these actually platforms differ from each other and how you can get an idea that how these platforms actually work. Let's just go ahead and choose from any of these pages. I'm going to add this page right here and I have selected this one. Add another page of this. So once I have added three pages, I will edit my site. So yeah, guys, now I am going to create websites on both of these. Now I am at editor x and this is what the template that i selected you can check it out right here this is what the website will look like now you can see right here that there is different views available desktop tablet and mobile view while on wix classic you do not get the tablet view now because some people consider that you know mobile view and tablet view are the same but maybe there are users out there that are using tablets and there is a view different 
difference between these two so yeah tablet view is not available on wix while we create these websites you will see all of these differences between them these small differences that are actually there for example you can see right here that while editing there comes a point when you know you need to expand the view you need to check out that how this website is actually you know looking on a desktop you will get a view of desktop then there is this the area of the workspace is smaller than as we compare it to wix classic and then the outlook of wix classic website is not that upgraded and advanced while when we look at the editor x that you will see the difference between these two you will see all of these different features that we get on editor x that we do not get on wix classic now you can actually you know get an idea from the names as well like this one is the classic version of website building and this one is the upgraded editor x that wix created for their you know websites to be upgraded and be you know more upgraded with the time and just be more professional so what I can do is you can see right here, all of these different options are given right here, the tools, view, site and everything. If I click right here, then I will be able to check out the pages. If I want to change the color of the website, I can just go ahead and make it darker or lighter as I want to. Then there are different options. Let's go with add elements and you will be able to add different elements. You can see the elements available on editor X. There are compositions layout tools button tax menu and search media decorative context and embedded social media logos and you can actually create blogs store bookings events members and contact management page and all of these different quick ads are also available for example paragraph buttons images video and gallery if i want to add any of these i will just simply click on that and then i can just add that image right here now the adding something adding an element into editor x that part i actually personally didn't like that much because what happens is when you add an, an element it kind of like gives you the whole idea of adding it into let me just you know send it back you can see that the workspace area is a little less so you'll have to you know just go over and over again to check out that what's happening this is the element that i wanted to add right now i'll have to drag it all the time make it smaller so th this is where you get an idea that wix classic is very beginners friendly it's very easy to use because when you added elements on wix classic all you have to do is just select that block and you click on edit and then you can just simply select from any of these items that are given you can see designs logo images email phone number button social accounts when it comes to all of these different elements the elements that were available on editor x are not available on wix classic they are just simple website building tools that are available you can see right here if i want to go to designs i can select different themes color fonts and animation as well if i go to manage i will be able to see that it, this is actually a blog website that i select Selected. so this is what it looks like it's giving me an overview if i want to add something i will just simply select select that and it will be added into my blog if i want to add another section i will simply click on plus and i will be able to add different sections into my website you can see all of these different features and options for example subscribe contact blog feed about code instagram text image media gallery video player music player so that's actually pretty good all of these different features that are given in wix classic that's pretty good you can actually make a very good website on wix classic the timetable files price list schedule imprint and reservations so you can actually make a very different and a bunch of different fonts and themes are actually available you can actually make portfolios you can make uh, menus and you can make restaurant websites and educational websites and whatever kind of webs wix is actually amazing when it comes to website building but of course if you're looking for a very creative side of websites then i think you should go with editor x but it it is complicated to use the editor x one it's not that beginners friendly and you'll actually have to you know you'll have to you know 
have some editing skills in order to create a website on editor x but both of these actually provide really cool features and a premium plan is also available for both of these you can just go ahead and check out their their plans as well these are the plans were completely free the ones that i used so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you will be able to figure out that which one is better for you wix classic or wix editor x both of them are actually pretty amazing and you can avail many features on both of these and i hope that i was able to you know give you an idea that which one is better for you to create your own website make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel